Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is in collaboration with three other lovely YouTubers. We are each creating a look inspired by the elements. My look is inspired by the wind, Leanne is water, Gemma is earth and Marina is fire. I will link their videos down in the description so make sure to go check out their looks too. And so let's get started with this tutorial. As always, I'm starting off with eyeshadow primer all over the lids before applying a sticky tape to the outer corners as a guideline for the wing. Next, I'm applying a beige creamy base to help the eyeshadows pop even more. Next, I'm taking a bluish purple duochrome eyeshadow and I'm popping this onto the main lid space. And then I'll be taking a deep shimmery purple and I'm going to be popping that onto the outer V and blending it into the crease. With this bright fuchsia purple, I'm going to gently blend between the duochrome eyeshadow and that deep purple. And now with a peach pink duochrome, I'm going to use this to lightly blend out the edges. Next I'm taking this white shimmery eyeshadow and applying it to the very inner corners of the lid. If you wanted to keep it simple you could keep the look as it is by just adding a black wing liner and leaving it at that but I'm going to take it a little bit further and use some white face paint to draw a wing line. I'm going to be applying this white wing quite thick as I'll be going on top of that with a finer black wing. Make sure you let the paint fully dry before you go in with the black wing liner. You want to apply the black liner in a way so that you can still see the white wing. If you went a bit too heavy handed with a black wing like myself, you can always go back in with the white paint and thicken up the white wing a bit more. And now for the fun part. 
Taking the white face paint again, I'm going to be applying very fine white strokes in a winged out shape all over the lid. This is what makes the look more representative of the wind. Make sure to take your time with this as you don't want to ruin the beautiful colours of the eyeshadow beneath with messy splotches of white paint. Once the paint has dried, I'm taking this white shimmery pigment and I'm just patting that on top of the lids. This helps to set the paint and makes sure that it doesn't go anywhere, plus it adds a nice dimension to the lids. And now that the main lid is done, you can go ahead and peel off that tape and clean up any fallout. Before I complete the eye look, I'm going to apply my base starting off with primer to fill in my pores. Then with a peachy toned concealer I'm going to conceal my under eyes. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the palest foundation I have. Obviously, because this foundation is very, very, very light on me, I'm going to be taking it down the neck to make sure it blends in. To set the under eyes, I'm going to be lightly dusting it with this yellow powder. Then I'm going in with a translucent powder to set the rest of the face. And back to the eyes, I'm starting off by first filling in my brows. Here I am using a brow pencil to fill them in before I go in with a felt tip brow product to define them even more. And back to 
playing with colours, I'm taking this vanilla yellow duochrome eyeshadow and I'm applying it to the outer lower lash line and feathering it out. Then with a bright shimmery orange, I'm going to apply this closer to the lower lash line. And back to the white face paint, I'm again applying some fine strokes. Now I'm mixing two pale blues together and I'm going to apply that beneath the wing liner. Now to curl the lashes, a generous coat of mascara and a pair of falsies. Once the falsies are applied, you can go ahead and line the upper and lower waterline with a black pencil. Going back to the white shimmery eyeshadow I used earlier, I'm applying that to the inner corners. And I also use it to highlight the brow bone. As the outer wing of the eye look is pretty heavy, I decided to balance it out by adding a fine wing on the inner corners. Finally, back to the face, I'm taking a cool contour shade to carve out my cheekbones. I also lightly apply this to the jawline to make my face appear slimmer. And now so I don't look so ghostly, I'm going to apply bronzer to the outer perimeters of my face. The previous contour shade was a bit too dark, so here I'm taking a lighter shade to contour the bridge of the nose.
As we have quite a lot going on on the eyes, I'm just going to take a pale pink for blush. But of course, I do have to highlight. So I'm going to pop this shimmery lilac on the high points of my face. I don't know what was up with me this day, but I really, really wanted to glow. So I took the glittery pigment from earlier and also applied that onto the high points of my face. Finally, for the lips, I'm taking this pinky purple greyish silver duochrome beautifulness on my lips. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going back to the eyes and I'm applying more fine strokes because I felt it wasn't quite windy enough. I busted out the paint so I might as well go all out. Just so you understand why I chose to use the colours that I am using today, it is because I was inspired by the song Colours of the Wind from the film Pocahontas. And if you've seen the film and remember the scene when the song was played, you'll remember that there was a beautiful mix of colours floating through the wind. And that colourful wind is what this look is based on. And I thought it'd be a nice change from the typical imagery we think of when we think of wind, which is usually full of light blues and whites and silvers, which can tend to look more watery than windy. I decided I wanted the lips to be a bit more muted, so I took the white paint and blended it into the lips. And here is the completed look! This look was so much fun to create and I absolutely love the mix of colours I have going on. The fine white strokes of white really brings the movement of wind into this look. There is a lot going on in this eye look, but it manages to remain looking soft and airy due to the blended out shadows. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to check out Gemma, Leanne and Marina's tutorials linked down in the description. Please show me some love by liking, commenting and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!